Hello all, welcome to part 8 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain one of the mobile application types that is web apps. There are four different mobile application types as explained in the previous sessions. That is first type is mobile enabled web. Okay. Second type is web apps. Third type is native apps and fourth type is hybrid apps. So web apps is one of the mobile application types. Okay. So what exactly are these uh, web apps and how they are different from the other mobile application types I'm going to explain in this session. Okay. So guys, uh, I'll directly take you to this uh, image as you can see here. Okay. So here I have loaded uh, w3schools.com website on my laptop, let's say. Okay. It will look something like this. Okay. And now the same w3schools.com is providing a mobile application. You can go to the Play Store and install this mobile application, guys. Okay. And install, download and install this mobile, uh, mobile application on your mobile phone. Okay. It will look something like this. So what is the difference between this one and this one? You see, this one has a URL, whereas this mobile application doesn't have a URL. Okay. It doesn't have the URL. And here pages are there. Here also pages. It's a mobile application, but it is a page type of, okay. Mobile application which showing the pages guys. Okay. It's not a, you know, right kind of um, uh, real mobile application, but you see, it is actually running on the browser only, but looks like it's an application. That kind of mobile application types are called as web apps. Okay. Web apps. They are mobile applications which are meant for web browsing. Okay. So if there is a requirement where uh, for such uh, websites like w3schools.com, they have to show several pages and all, they prefer to develop the mobile application in the form of web app. Okay. So this is not running on the mobile device directly. This application is looking like a mobile application, but it is not running directly on a mobile device. Rather, it is running on the browser. Okay. This application is loading these pages on the browser, but you don't see any URL here. Such kind of application it is guys. Okay. It's kind of tricky to understand, but let me uh, cover it step by step again. Okay. So mobile web apps are simple mobile applications. They are mobile applications only, but internally what is happening? Something is different. Okay. So they are not completely mobile applications. Mobile web apps are simple mobile applications guys. We need to install them on the mobile devices. Okay. As, as we install other mobile applications, the same mobile uh, web apps also. Okay. This web app apps also uh, work similar to the mobile application. We have to go to the Play Store or Apple Store, whatever it is, and download and install in the required devices, mobile devices. Okay. Similar to other mobile devices, but these are simple mobile applications, guys. Okay. Uh, developers don't take much time to develop such kind of applications, guys, because uh, they are not uh, developing the mobile application entirely. Rather, they are converting the website into a mobile application. Okay. So in a mobile application, they are showing the web pages without URL. Okay. Such kind of concept it is. Web apps runs on the mobile browsers only. Okay. Web apps, these web apps, this mobile application time run, runs on the mobile browser. In the background, it's running on the mobile browser, not on the mobile devices. Whereas the real other mobile application types we have that are, that I'm going to explain in the next, next few sessions, right? Those are the real mobile applications which are directly running on the mobile devices rather than on the browser. Here, these web apps have some browsing pages which are running on the browsers. But these mobile applications are designed in such a way that they look like a real mobile applications, okay, which are directly running on the devices. It looks like that's the reason here. You see, it, it, this application looks like a real mobile application. You see, there is no URL on the uh, top, right? But the pages are being shown. The pages are similar to these web pages only. But sim uh, simple mobile application it is. There, uh, this mobile application is running on the browser instead of directly running on the device. Okay. So such kind of applications, lightweight or simple applications. Okay. Uh, where developers don't have to take so much of efforts for developing a customized mobile application. Okay. For such kind of applications, those are web apps. Web apps display the information present on web browser on a mobile app lookalike screen. So it's a mobile app lookalike screens, but not real mobile application. The, the design is similar to the mobile application. Okay. Here we are simply, whatever the web application pages are there, we are representing on the uh, mobile application lookalike screens. We are simulating, we are, uh, 
you know right it's not the real application customized for the application okay customizedly developed by the developers rather it is like it looks like a mobile, mobile app but it's not a real mobile app but the working is same it's simple mobile app which we have to download from the play store and install it okay so it doesn't take much efforts for the developers again okay while the web browsers have the address bar to display the url on the websites okay web apps simply look like mobile app without any address bar showing on any even though it is a web app but still url is not being shown because it has to simulate the mobile application okay this web app should simulate the real mobile applications okay so hence they are not showing the url here so that's the thing guys okay so this is an example guys this is an example uh if you go to you can try this out okay you can try this out uh just go to the if you have an android uh, mobile right then go to the uh google play store if your device is android device or if you have uh, apple apple device iphone or something you just go to the app store whatever it is okay then search for this w3 schools online tutorials there okay in that uh and uh placed uh google play store or uh, uh apple uh app, app store of apple devices you just search for this application w3 schools online tutorials and uh, you will get an uh, option to install the application guys okay on your mobile device you will install it after installing just open uh, this particular website uh, in a laptop and also in your uh, open that application that you have just now installed w3 skills on online tutorials application in your device and just compare them okay they look same guys okay you see this web app uh, on your mobile mobile device this particular uh, application page you see html html the language for building web pages you see same web pages are there but this is not looking like a web web page. It's not mobile enabled web, right? It's an application which looks like a website. Okay. They look similar guys. Only the difference is the URL won't be there. The URL will not be there on this mobile application, but it's just replicating the web pages on the mobile device. Okay. So this is what is, uh, what are web apps guys? Hope I was, uh, I'm able to explain you guys. It's a tricky thing, but still I'm just, uh, Hoping that everyone has understood this web apps concept now. Okay. They are not web applications or mobile enabled webs. They are web apps uh, where simple applications are built by the developers just to simulate uh, a look alike screens of mobile application on the mobile devices. Okay. So your URL will not be there application because it is an application only. Okay. But not real application. And, and they are using pages uh, as a uh, screens okay the web pages of the laptop are being uh, whatever the web pages of the web application shown on the laptop are using are being used as a, a mobile application screens okay they are lookalike kind of thing okay so to make the um, feel possible instead of uh, spending a lot of time and developing a customized mobile application for each and everything this is the simplest process that developers may follow you see the famous companies like w3 skills are also doing this right the web pages they are simply converting into the mobile app screens they are simply showing this uh, web pages guys they are running on the browser only but uh, mobile application is taking care of that mobile application is actually interfacing with the browser and the device and uh, uh, simulating it as a mobile application rather it is a simple mobile application not a uh, real mobile application you can say okay so that's all for this session in the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.